Okay. Well, what are you doing here? Came to tell you the plan. By the end of the day, we're going to be rich. I told you I don't want anything to do with that stuff. Come on. You don't mean that. Cut it out, okay? Already heard about you going topless in front of half the bay. It was hot. <laughs> I'm your boyfriend. How do you think I felt when I found out? Hey, chill. Will you just go? Before a teacher sees you? Okay. But I have a present for you first. I don't want them. Come on, just see how many you can get rid of. Oh. I'll book the police info bus for Tuesday then. I can't believe this. That's that girl I was telling you about. Oh, wait, leave it with me. Hi. Mr. Bartlett tells me you've already been warned not to trespass. So, what are you going to do about it? March me off the premises? If need be, yes. I pray, just go. Catch you later, sexy. I do not want to have to speak to you about that girl again. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Austin? <laughs> yes, sir. and looks in your locker. Do you realise what's going to happen? I know, all right. Why did you bring this stuff to school in the first place? If you had just listened to me for once... OK, this... OK, just calm down. Get the stuff back and I'll take care of it. I'll catch you later. I can't explain it. I don't know how. Well, obviously you didn't lose the key. Somebody must have taken it and stolen the stash. How am I supposed to get the money to pay for them now? You know what, Freya? This isn't my fault. I never wanted anything to do with this. I'll save a little speech, Xavier. Do you know what's going to happen to us if we don't get them back? You have to find out who took them before we have to make the payment to those guys. Okay? to lecture me. Look, I'm not proud of myself for buying that stuff off you, but I disapprove of anyone selling drugs to kids. Listen to you. You are hanging out for those pills. You can't get all judgmental on me now. You know, it's not too late for me to do the right thing. Meaning what? Cops are asking questions. I could quite easily tell them what I know. If they come for me, I will name you as my biggest client, so don't even think about it. Keep your mouth shut. reason. They did a search and found nothing. Uh, excuse me? Then why are you getting so worked up? I know you gave them my name, but guess what? I gave them yours. Did you know your girlfriend's a pill popper? She has a real problem. As I already explained to the police, I only bought pills off you as part of my undercover investigation. So if I were you, I would leave. And fast. Hey, I'm standing out of sight. You can't sit on this boat all night, Xavier. Come talk to Charlie, she might be able to help. No, thanks. I came down to see Hugo to see if he'd lend me some cash, but he isn't here. Hey, careful. This is not your problem. Why do you feel like you have to bail her out all the time? Because we're together, that's just what you do. Even when she never listens to you? And she doesn't care how anything she does affects you? Come on, Ruby, I'm too tired to fight with you. You know, at first, I was jealous and angry that you were with her. Now I'm just genuinely concerned for you. Well, isn't this romantic? Ruby, 
please just, just get off the boat. No, no way. Ruby, please go home, okay? I can handle this. No, see, there you go again. Why do you always take her side? Why don't you tell her to get off the boat? Freya, what are you doing? Hugo's boat, we just hit Hugo's boat. Hugo! 